right, so good morning. These are my girls. Tim, Charlie, Karen, Luis, Queenie, and Rosa. Those are my chicks. They are a little over two years old now. And this is the day where I'm gonna clean out their coop from all the winter time. So I don't do it during the winter time because there's moisture in there and I don't want them to be in there with that cold moisture. So quickly, that's the coop. That's where they have. And this here is a run from the coop, down steps, down steps. And that's their run that has their food and their water and some shade. And it's open now so they can have free range. Here's a quick shot of the coop in dirtiest state. Dirty, there's a lot of poop. I have it collected in a poop catcher. Sorry for the showing the muck. I'll go over it more when it's all clean. And that's where they lay their eggs and then I use that soft bedding. So you'll see me clean that out. All right, I start off cleaning by taking out their bedding boxes. Those are nice four little plastic ones. You put more than you need, but they always end up trying to lay eggs in the same one. I take those out. Those are containers for bird seed and their feed. Plastic ones and metal ones help to keep the little rodents out, I have found. Um, it's great to have all this help while I'm trying to work. So those bedding boxes I do clean out throughout the year. But the coop itself I just do in the springtime and then in, again in the fall. So you can see Bert trying to help. He finds the chickens very intriguing. He loves their little uh, little deposits. And all the girls have to see what I'm up to inside of their coop. So I clean off what didn't go in the catcher. And I'll show you what I do later on with the soiled pine shavings and what I've caught in the catcher where they roost. So there's a little picture of my coop. I've cleaned it all out, the two top shelves, that's where I keep all their extra supplies. I had to put up a little fencing up there because they would fly up there and lay eggs. <laughs> so they'll, they're quite athletic. So now it looks like I'm ready to hose the whole thing, whole thing out. So I've hosed it out. Now I put this um, pellets on the floor to help keep the bugs down and the smell fresh. Now I put in large pine shavings I found throughout the years that my critters get bumblefoot and a lot of times it's because they fly down from their coop at night and they're landing on hard ground. Since I put in this really deep bedding, I've not had any problems with their feet. I do provide a block from the door and, the, and their run to keep the pine shavings from getting kicked out. Now I have this special bedding that I put in to where they um, nest, seal it back up, and I've used it, last me a few years. Now there's, I bought this little herbs, dried herbs, that also go in the bedding to help keep it smelling fresh. And like I said, I clean that out a few times throughout the year. Thank you for watching.